Hey guys, this is going to be the first uh, so-called episode, I guess, of my series, Choosing Your Chinchilla. So, um, the first thing is going to be either male or female, and which one you should get, or if it matters. In my opinion, with having both genders, um, experience with both genders, I actually suggest getting a male if you're a new owner because males are just a lot more easygoing they aren't as temperamental they're friendlier and as you can see this is a female and she will get angry with me I guess I'm gonna close this for now because she keeps trying to escape um, <laughs> So she's really temperamental, and she gets really mad if I don't let her out, where she'll start biting me. Well, not really biting, but she'll pull on my hands and try to get me to open up the cage. Um, I, I had a male, and he was fantastic. And as you can see, she really hates, hates this right now, but um, I'll let her out after the video. My male chinchilla was the greatest chinchilla ever. He... Uh, he died recently, well not recently, a couple years ago, because of malocclusion, so it's pretty sad. That's why I have all my girls now. Um, he was really easy to bond with. He bonded really fast and got used to his surroundings within probably a week. But it really matter doesn't really depend on the gender in the whole, I guess, like, it's not all about the gender, because chinchillas do have different personalities as it is, and he was just an all-around really outgoing chinchilla, while Rosie is a, she has a really bad attitude, and hates, you know, being stuck in the cage. <laughs> um, if you want a female for breeding purposes, that's a whole other story because that that was really adorable. Did you guys see that? She scratched her nose. But the if you want to breed your chinchillas, I actually suggest getting three if you want to become a breeder because of the bloodlines and stuff. But that's a different story as well. She's really, really angry. Um, so, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter as long as you know what you're getting yourself into with getting a chinchilla in general. You just have to know that females can be a lot more temperamental, and males are more easygoing and friendlier. But not always. Like, don't get me wrong, it's not all f female chinchillas are evil or anything. It's just they're known to have more hormones acting up and such, especially when they are in heat, which I think Rosie's in heat right now. <laughs> As you guys can see, she's crazy. That's about it. So, please comment, rate, and subscribe. That's it. Thanks for watching.